Hello, my friends. Welcome to another episode of Deep True Crime. I'm so happy you're here. Today, I'm going to share with you the top stories that have gone on over the last 24, 48 hours. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Welcome back, my friends. I'm Manny Rodriguez. Thank you so much for being here today. Let's just dive into it, right? We're digging deep in true crime where we explore the different cases out there. So the last story I want to share with you is Olympic runner who was killed. And this is one of those alleged as well. But... I like to share these even though the, it's not been put to the case and hasn't been finalized because there there's a lot of evidence that brings this stuff forward. You still got to say alleged because, again, innocent until proven guilty. But it is said that... Interesting. One second here. Let me show you guys this. So the husband has been arrested for her killing. Bring that up. So a Kenyan Olympic runner, Agnes Tirop, he's finally arrested. I won't say finally, but he was she was found stabbed to death on October 13th in her home. So that was about five days ago. And so I believe he was arrested the next day. We're about to find out. And so she was found stabbed in her home and now the husband has been arrested for her murder and so two-time olympic champion you know she's won two-time world championship bronze medalist she was found dead in her home in eaton a town in western kenya she had been stabbed to death the following day authorities announced they arrested her husband and so he had been the prime suspect the whole time. But of course, you can't arrest until you have actual evidence, right? So he had been the prime suspect the whole time, but they had to make sure they had to get all their ducks in a row, right? So he was the prime suspect in this gruesome, gruesome murder. And so finally he's arrested and... His name is Ibrahim Rotish, who was in a relationship with the ass was with the athlete athlete. You know, they were he was arrested and he even tried to flee to get away. He even tried to flee to get away. Like when they were on their way he, and they got there and he was just really trying to get out of there. He was trying hard to get out of there. And so investigators, you know, as he was trying to flee, they launched a manhunt to find this guy. Okay, so what happened was they family members started to receive troubling calls, you know, with from him crying and begging for God's forgiveness. So this was what's leading up to also like why, you know, what does he need to be forgiven for? Right. And so, you know, the authorities are called and and, you know, they had a. The, the authorities believe they might have had a fight before her death. And, you know, this is one, this is an athlete that was, she was not done. She was not done trying to win that gold medal. She was not done trying to put her footprint in the world of running. She, I mean, she started becoming well known, you know, at the, at the young age of 19 years old in 2015. Which what? That's six years six years ago. So she's still she was only twenty five. She's in her prime. She's in her prime. And so, you know, she was she even ran and represented Kenya at the Tokyo Olympics this past summer. So she just got done racing this past summer. I'm sure you're familiar with the Tokyo Olympics. It was all over. Right. 
And so even last month in Germany, she broke the world record in women's only 10 kilometer road race. I mean, she loved running and she was obviously good. I mean, she finished fourth at the Tokyo Olympics. She was really good at her craft. Really, really good. So you know she was taken way too soon with so many more years left. Rest in peace, my friend. You know, and this is the type of stuff. And the reason why I do keep bringing these cases up because they they remind me of the Gabby Petito domestic violence. And the more I cover these, the more I even I know like, wow, this this is a problem. This is a problem. You know, I don't understand why why this happens. That's not my job to understand. My job in doing this is to bring awareness so we know what to be careful for in our worlds, period. Simple as that. That's why I, I even talk about these things, to bring awareness to what's going on out there. And there you have it, Olympic runner killed by her husband and so we'll wait to see what happens after, you know, I'm sure that is probably going to be done and he's going to probably see it all out and end up either in prison. I don't know if they have the death penalty. I've not checked if Kenya has or, you know, where, or if that area has, if it has the, the death penalty. My friends, thank you for joining me today as we cover four new top stories that are in the four new top true crime stories that are in the news today. I'm Manny Rodriguez. If this looks like something you like to follow, please smash that subscribe button. I would appreciate it. It lets me know you like what I'm sharing. And my goal is always to get better. If you like true crime, well, this is a channel you're going to want to follow because I just only want to get better and better for you, the end user who watches the content. I want to educate you. My friends, always be alert. See what's going on around you. And I look forward to serving you guys again. I'm Manny Rodriguez, and this is another episode of Deep True Crime. I look forward to serving you soon. Peace.